what is a prank call, and how can you spot one. A prank call is generally a harmless prank that is intended to annoy or prank an individual. A prank call is specific to telephones, as the user uses their mobile device to ring up real-world numbers and play the prank on the receiver. The receiver may feel intimidated or threatened if the prank call involves harassment, threats, or any form of intimidating action which makes the receiver feel uncomfortable. The receiver may report you to the authorities, and they can track down your phone number without much effort, so a prank call is also often treated as a crime. So individuals who seek to engage in prank calling must do so appropriately, any law surrounding telecommunications that is broken will result in you losing your life to a silly and ultimately pointless phone call. Prank calls can range from harmless to serious, on one end of the spectrum, there are prank callers who do not wish to intimidate or harass you, they are simply pulling a prank on you, if the caller just hangs up mutes their microphone and does not answer you, or makes funny sounds or weird noises, you know it's just a prank, however, things change when we move up on the spectrum, prank calls that are not harmful but are more silly than the harmless ones could be seen as a middle of the road sort of thing. These prank calls could be about insulting or making fun of an individual, using foul or obscene language to describe someone or something and potentially bribing the receiver into doing something, all of which can be punishable with severe penalties if the user is found to be guilty of committing these crimes, but at any point which it escalates to threats and harassment shall you not remain complacent with the caller, any prank call that involves harassment, threats, including but not limited to bomb threats, threats that include or promote violence, and threats for not completing one's demands, you should report that number to your nearest police station as soon as you possibly can, or use an app or service that can reveal the caller ID, their physical residence or location, and the name and email address of the prank caller, though this method is not always the best, however, this will save you having to report it to the police, but if the prank call came from somewhere that's not inside your jurisdiction, for example, if the call came from a country such as India, you might be out of luck, as the police will have to go through way more hoops to find out who that person was, even if the call comes from a different state of your country, it can make it harder to trace that person down, and not all caller ID apps can actually identify the caller, some may give you the wrong information about them, but if at any point you feel like the prank caller is harassing, threatening, bribing, or using foul or obscene language to you, you should not take something like this lightly, any threat is often treated as a real threat, even if the individual making the prank call has no intentions of hurting you or using that threat in the real world, most of the time, threats are used to scare people away, they are often just empty worded rubbish bags, but they are always taken seriously by law enforcement. If a prank caller calls your number several times, this can be seen as harassment, if they text you constantly, or send an invigorating or convincing text message, that's also potentially a way to bribe you, the receiver, into doing something for them, regardless of whether or not they demand personal information, a prank call that involves a call to any time critical service, such as a police, fire, or health department can be seen as a waste of their resources, anyone who makes prank calls to 911 or other emergency numbers is liable for prosecution and imprisonment, there have also been cases of prank callers impersonating such individuals, it only takes one phone call to a real police department and something like this all ends so badly, so quickly, and the penalties for any type of prank call are very severe including but not limited to multiple charges for various offenses, or charges for repeated offenses, possible jail time that could be more than 20 years, if the prank call penalties is severe enough to land you in jail, termination of internet or phone services, due to violating the terms and services you agreed to, there is also a risk of potentially being banned from reusing your current telecommunications services provider in the future as well. Overall, prank calls should only be seen as an empty, harmless prank, however, if you personally feel threatened, intimidated, 
or spammed, then you should take appropriate action to rectify or resolve the issue. One way you can easily reveal a person's phone number is by reporting it, along with any relevant information, to your local police department. The cops have various tools they can use to find out who owns and manages a real-world phone number. They also have various tools to force unlock phones and extract data off of them, and the police can trace down that number because the phone will likely be on, connecting to nearby cell towers, so this can help the police triangulate or pinpoint a caller, they can also see what time and date it was when the call was made, and in some cases, the number that calls you could be a real number that has been stolen and is now being used for prank calls, scam calls, or spamming, so it's crucial you report it to the police, because if you don't, the real owner of that number could face serious legal consequences for actions he or she did not do, so it's important to try get those numbers shut down before they really wreak havoc. If you do not want to take matters to the police, you can try some other methods of identifying the caller, one of which is to use a website or app that can look up a phone number, if the result returns positive, with the caller's location and other information, you can rest assured that all the information you need is right there, however, many times, a number which is used for prank calls is often temporary, so while it may be reachable one week, the next, it could be terminated, disabled, or taken down by law enforcement, if they know that number is being used for prank calls or spamming, services which let you call for free do not allow for you to make prank calls, if the receiver reports your number, the company will hand over all the relevant information to the police, who will then take down the number, and arrest or charge the individual who was making prank phone calls. If you feel like the prank caller is harassing you, it's probably best to block that number, do note that some prank callers may have incoming call restrictions, so if you try to call their number, it will be unreachable, sending texts to that number will also fail, as the texts are not coming through, and if the number is not in service, you will get a message saying it has been disconnected or is unavailable, which means that number is no longer in use in the real world. While prank calls might seem funny, they should not be taken lightly when we start seeing harassment, threats, or any other form of abuse, individuals who feel threatened have every right to report that number to the authorities, and the authorities can take out any action they deem necessary, so while a prank call might sound funny, it's actually a lot more serious than the harmless side of it, and oftentimes, even if the prank caller has no intention of harming anyone, they can be charged and arrested because of the other person's feelings, if the receiver feels like they are being threatened, harassed, or taken advantage of, then they are within their legal rights to take action against the caller, so if you're thinking about getting into prank calls, seriously consider the legal consequences, and see if it's really worth the risk for an ultimately pointless endeavor. Anyway, that will do it for this video folks. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you next video. Bye for now.